I, I will start. So uh, now, uh, this day I want to talk about the, uh, how to model in georeference account data. I will start with uh, some theoretical things, and then I move on to a brief introduction using a, a, an air package called uh, GeoModels. Uh, uh, I, uh, this uh, this package uh, was a uh, uh, was a collaboration with other with other people, and uh, I, it was implemented the, the models that I we present uh, uh, this day. So uh, I will start. We are interested in reference to data, but what is reference to data? So uh, is data with uh, from which its position can be determined. So we are interested in, in, in uh, any characteristic on a, on a location with a longitude and latitude. So in general, we are working in a, in a topological uh, space with a coordinate system. Particularly, uh, we, are, uh, we can work in, with the Euclidean space. And uh, in many applications, we have to work with the uh, here reference uh, data with the latitude and the longitude uh, of their positions. So uh, these features uh, uh, have to depend on the distance of their position. So we're interested in, in data on features that are amount of something or number of something uh, just a few uh, uh, examples are the, the populations or or the viral load in in in, in a person, um, something like that. So we have uh, here reference the data, and the characteristics of this data are counts. So that is the set of data that we're interested on. And in the statistic analysis of here reference count data, we're interested in two things. The, the first one is to take account for the spatial dependence. So we can we, we expect that we are able to introduce the, the spatial dependence to our model. And then with that, we make, a, make some inference about the, 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 spatial, uh, the spatial dependence in, in the data set. And the second, one, uh, the second thing is to predict values at new locations. So we have some locations in, in, in the data set, but we can uh, uh, we want to predict uh, the, the new values or the new counts of something in new locations. So in general, we have the observed data in the flow of the left. Then we apply a model, and then we predict all the field and all the uh, in all the in all the new new locations. So this model is a, a we is a stochastic model in the in this occasion, and this data that is the field in in which I work. So we are working with a, a stochastic models to to manage a, the spatial dependence a, and with the, the the tool of predict in the new locations. So. I am going to talk about uh, the current approach and the novel approach that I uh, proposed in my, in my research. The current approach are divided in two big, uh, in two big groups. The, the first one are hierarchical models that uh, are working since uh, uh, 1993 with the generalized linear mixing models by Bryson and Clayton. Uh, then they go uh, present a, a, a approach based on Poisson Gaussian random fields. And Prates uh, give, a, a, a give a, a new models with transformed Gaussian random fields. All, the, all, the, all these models can be right uh, as a theoretical models and, and it is, it belong a huge, a huge class of models uh, uh, developed by the Oliveira in 19, uh, 2013. The other, the other big, uh, one of the problems of these, of, of these kind of models is, is that they, uh, 
these models are mean squared discontinuity. So the correlation functions is not continuous at the origin. And it is a problem where the, we are trying to model something that have a, a continuous mean square. And the other big, uh, uh, big models or big uh, class of models are the Gaussian couple approach that was developed by Han uh, and the Oliveira in 2016. So the, the thing with that models is that there is an not underlying, uh, underlying physical mechanisms for the, for the models. So they only present a mathematical tool that can manage the, the spatial the dependence. So there are no, the, there is no exist an, an underlying physical mechanisms of the, of, of the model. Only is a, a, mathemat a mathematical tool to uh, can uh, manage the, the dependence. So in the novel approach, uh, we propose to characterize uh, a random field through a Gaussian random field. So we apply a set of transformations to a Gaussian random fields in order to obtain a no Gaussian random field. And in, in the particular case of cone, uh, of cone data, we, are, uh, uh, we, are, uh, we produce a, a cone random field, okay? So we take a Gaussian random field, we apply a set of transformations and we obtain a cone random field. The advantage of these models is there is a mean square continuity, but the finite dimensional distribution is unknown in the in in in, in almost the, all the all the cases. But in some cases, we can find uh, the B array distributions. So it was a, a it was important because because it uh, 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 allows us to make inference with the B array distribution. So we don't we don't need the finite dimensional distribution to make a inference or, or predictions. So I want to introduce what is a Gaussian random field. So uh, a zero mean unit variance a real value random field G with S are the locations in a set A in general with a correlation given for, uh, for row H. That is the, the correlation between two, two random variables of, of the Gaussian random field. And we can call a starting Gaussian random field and, or a an mean and unit variance uh, real random field. If for all locations, the vector of, of the random fields in that location has a a Gaussian multivariate uh, 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 no, uh, distribution with zero mean and a correlation function given by rho h. So, uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the advantage of defining this kind of models? Is that we uh, uh, we can define in an spatial Euclidean setting. Uh, we have we can define the spatial time uh, domain and also the spherical domains. In general, in this uh, uh, in this presentation, we are talking about in in general in a set A in the Euclidean space, but the extension of the to the space time models of the spherical uh, domain is it is very easy. So what are the, 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 the useful characteristic of the of a Gaussian random field? With a Gaussian random field, we can characterize by the mean and square uh, structure and a valid corre correlation function. So we have uh, to give a mean, a mean structure and a valid correlation function. And with, the, with two, these two things, we can characterize uh, a Gaussian random field. There are a lot of parametric and non-parametric correlation functions studied in, with Gaussian random fields. We are interested in, in, parametric, uh, in, in the parametric correlation functions. And Gaussian random fields allow to describe some geometrical properties uh, like isotropy, anisotropy, 
uh, stationarity, non-stationarity, uh, uh, among others. But the obscenity is really limited in real data. Uh, what uh, uh, an example for that is the uh, is the is the density of the of, of the amount of population uh, in the locations or the viral load in in a person. So, but uh, we use a uh, Gaussian random field to uh, develop our, uh, our models. But first we have to define what is an exponential random field. So we take a, a Gaussian random field with zero mean and unit variance and with a correlation function rho h. We take two independent copies of the Gaussian random field and then we uh, define a random field W as the sum of the square of the Gaussian random field divided by two per lambda S. This definition allows us to, to define a Gaussian random field with exponential marginals. So in each location, the Gaussian random field has exponential distribution and the, the correlation function of the Gaussian of the exponential random field is the square of the of the Gaussian random field. That is a pretty uh, a pretty characteristic of this of this kind of of construction because uh, it implies that when the the correlation in the Gaussian random field is zero, the correlation in the exponential random field is uh, is also zero. And the, the stationarity of the exponential random field depends on the stationarity of the, of the Gaussian random, random field. Now, I will to present a new class of counting random field. Uh, that is the, the models that we proposed. And uh, in particular, we, we show what a, a, a Poisson random field. So first of all, we have the, to uh, uh, we have to have a, an infinite sequence of independent copies of a positive continued random field. Uh, look that uh, there is in general a positive continued random field, Y, with an underlying correlation rho H. In other words, the correlation of the Gaussian random field uh, uh, is rho H. Then if Y, is taking us an exponential uh, an exponential random field as we defined it before. Then the, po the Poisson random field N can be defined by this equation. Is the, ma uh, the maximum of the SN uh, less than one? Where SN is the n fold convolution of the uh, of the of the exponential random fields. So if we do that. We can have a, 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 a random field with which exponential with marginal distribution is a Poisson with parameter lambda s. So if you if you can see it can uh, uh, this uh, definition of Poisson random field uh, can be viewed as a generation of a, uh, of a, or a, a spatial generation of a, of a Poisson process. Because if, if you see this definition is a, is a Poisson process in each location. So we have a Poisson process in each location and the set of this Poisson process is a Poisson, is a Poisson random field with a covariance co structure. So uh, as you can see, the, the correlation function is very important when we are uh, uh, modeling a, uh, a, 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 a special data or here references the special data. So we give a, a close expression for the for the correlation function in the in the general case of non-stationarity. So we can see that the correlation function is given by this expression that depends on the product of the of two uh, uh, regularized uh, 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 incomplete gamma gamma function. So, uh, any remarks? Uh, uh, some remarks for this expression is that uh, the stationarity of the of the random field depends on the 
lambda s. Lambda s is a, is a deterministic function. It's not a stochastic function. It's only a, a deterministic function. Uh, we can prove that the, the Poisson random field is mere square continuous if and only if the Gaussian random field parent is also mean square continuous. And this is because the, uh, the correlation function, as you can see, depends on the correlation function of the of the Gaussian of the Gaussian random field. So and if lambda tends to infinity, then the correlation of the Poisson random field is equal to the correlation of the exponential random random field. So a limit case of the of the of the correlation of the of the of the of the Poisson random field is the correlation of the exponential random field. Also, if lambda tends to, 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 to infinity, we can prove that, uh, that the, the Poisson random field tends to a Gaussian random field. Now, uh, another important thing that we can ha uh, have to make uh, estimation and, pre uh, and prediction is the b varied distribution. So uh, if uh, we have a Poisson random field, with an underlying correlation function rho h, in other words, the correlation of the of the Gaussian random field, then the bivariate distribution for a pair, uh, uh, or a pair of, uh, of of random variables of the Gaussian random field is given by this equation. Here we can uh, we can see that the the, the the, the probability, the bivariate PDF depends on the marginal distribution of the exponential random field and of the, in the convolution of the exponential random field. The good thing is that the convolution of the exp uh, exponential random field is a gamma random field. So it, uh, that the, it makes that we can have a close expression for, for that. And we can uh, we can find an expression that depends on um, a, a special function. In that case, uh, uh, the regular uh, the the regularized incomplete gamma function and um, the and the impergeometric function. The thing here is that uh, the big uh, distribution have a, a a high computational cost when we have a, a large data sets. So uh, uh, when we are talking about the, uh, the, the, pre, uh, the, the estimation, I, I, I present two, uh, two ways to, to make that. Another, uh, another interesting uh, characteristic of, the, of this B-variate is that uh, a characteristic that uh, in general only have the, the, the multivariate Gaussian distribution and that is where that the correlation equals to zero implies independence. In that case, we can uh, uh, we can uh, uh, have the same property. So when the correlation of the of the Poisson random field is zero, then we can uh, write the the B variate PDF as the product of the marginal distribution. In other words, uh, there are independence. No, I can uh, uh, with a Poisson random field we can find a zero inflated Poisson random field, and that is important in some applications because uh, uh, in some applications we have uh, more zeros than the, the than the, the original uh, distribution. So it's interesting to can model the excess of zeros in, in, in the data. For that, we first of all uh, defined uh, a Bernoulli random field. Uh, that is uh, that we can obtain a Bernoulli random field just holding a Gaussian random field in that in uh, in that interval with expectation given by theta is that is a, 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 determin a deterministic function and the correlation function given by the by the by the correlation function of the Gaussian random field. Then we have to define a, a Poisson random field as we do uh, uh, before with uh, the expectation of the exponential random field given by lambda s and another correlation function. 
rho h. If the Bernoulli random field and the Poisson random field are independent, we can define a zero infinite uh, Poisson random field as the product of the Bernoulli and the Poisson random field. And the marginal distribution is the is is the is the is the usual uh, uh, distribution for a zero inflated uh, Poisson. So we can see that uh, this distribution depends on the PS, and the PS is the is the probability of success of a zero. So is the probability uh, that we have a uh, uh, obtained a, a zero in the uh, in, in the Bernoulli in the Bernoulli random field. So uh, now, uh, I, until now, we have to we we can have mm, how to model the uh, the uh, the the here reference uh, uh, data, but we're interested in the in the inference. So uh, we do the inference. Uh, usually, we use the the full likelihood uh, uh, approach. But in that case, we don't have the, the full likelihood. So uh, we propose a weighted pairwise likelihood by inference. In that, uh, in that approach, we only need the, the B variate distribution. And for that, it's very important to have an expression to the, to the B variate distributions. So as you can see, the weighted pairwise log likelihood uh, is, a, is a weighted uh, sum of the logarithm of the b variate uh, uh, b variate distributions peer and uh, and weight function this weight function is given by this uh, uh, by this uh, this equation and is one with the distance between two locations is 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 lower than a uh, 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 than a value c. This value c is is given by the uh, by uh, by the by the by the research. So it's a fixed value that we can we can we, uh, we can change in, in in the in the model. Then theta hat is the is the argument that maximizes the the weighted by white likelihood. So uh, as, the, as I tell you before, the, the expression for the for the bivariate distribution is uh, is uh, have a, a high uh, computational cost. So for large data sets, we propose a misspecification of the weighted pairwise likelihood uh, inference. So uh, this estimator uh, is has a smaller computational burden. And we can define uh, the 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 mis specification, assume a Gaussian random field, but with the expectation and the and the variance equal to lambda is, and the correlation function of the Gaussian random field equal to the correlation function of the Poisson random field. So in this case, the correlation function is not a is not a parametric uh, 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 correlation function. Uh, but it is a decoration function of the of the Poisson random field. So with that, we can misspecify the Gaussian random field, and we can have a, a, a smaller computational burden for the for the estimation step. Uh, so I want, uh, want to talk about the, how to make predictions. So we use an optimal linear predictor. And the optimal linear predictor is also obtained with Gaussian misspecification. Under Gaussian misspecification, we can uh, we can make predictions with uh, this with, with this predictor. We only need, as you can see, we only need the the mean of the Gaussian random uh, of the uh, the mean of the of the cone random field. In this case, the, the Poisson random field. We need a and uh, need the the various covariance matrix of the of the random field and their variances, and with that we can have a, 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 some predictions of the uh, for the Gaussian random field. The disadvantage of this uh, of this approach 
is that uh, we can obtain uh, a continuous predictor. Not this, uh, uh, it's not a discrete uh, predictor uh, as is the, is, the, is the nature of the, of the, of the cone random fields. But, but uh, uh, it, it works uh, pretty, pretty well. And the mean square the error is given by, by, this, by, by this equation. So uh, we, we, with that, we, we, we finalized uh, the review of the, of, of the theoretical things. And now we show you how to make a, a simulation estimation and prediction with uh, the package. As I mentioned before, the, the package is, is called the Geo models. And uh, it, 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 uh, this package contains the procedures for Gaussian and no Gaussian geostatistical uh, data analysis. So uh, here we can find a, a function to simulation, to estimation, and to and the prediction of a special and a special temporal random fields. This package is, is now available in CRAN. So you can install the, this package only with uh, the function install point, point packages, uh, geo models. So we start with the, with the simulation. And uh, we load uh, the, 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 the library geo models. We, we put uh, the, uh, the model uh, as a Poisson. We set a seed uh, uh, to, to can uh, reproduce uh, all, the, all the results uh, with uh, this number. We choose uh, any, any spatial point uh, uh, that is uh, uh, 500 spatial points. And the coordinate, uh, the, the locations, we use a uh, 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 random uh, random numbers in the uh, of the uniform of the uniform distribution. So we are working in the in a in a unit square. Uh, the locations are in the unit square. The core model that we use is is the matern. The matern is a uh, is a. Uh, is a parametric correlation function uh, uh, well studied in the in geostatistics. We choose uh, the scale and the smooth and the nugget. All the all these three parameters are the parameters of the correlation function that we are interested in to to, to model. Uh, the mean of the of, of the of, of the cone random field we set to one point five. That is the the uh, that is the the mean of the of the of the account random field is the expectation of that. So we have to define a, a, a parameter list with all the all the parameters of the of the Gaussian of the con, uh, Poisson random field. That is the nugget, the mean, the scale, the smooth, and this seal is a parameter that uh, always we have to set one because it, it produces a, a Gaussian random field with univariance. So to make simulations, we have to use a, the function helpsims. With the function helpsim, we, we can have uh, a, the, the data simulation and we only need the, the coordinates, uh, uh, the, coordinate, the, the correlation model, the parameters of the model and the model. As you can see, the model can be changed for, for a serine faded by a Poisson random field or a Gaussian random field, um, uh, among other uh, models that we can implement in the in the in this in this package. To test that all, all, all is right, we can we can compute the, the mean of the data, the variance of the data, uh, and the exponential of the of the parameter uh, mean. And if the, if the function is works well, these uh, values have to be similar. In this case, the first one is 4.5, 4.4, and 5.48. So we can test that the, the simulation is working, is working well. So with that, 
With the function health thing, we can simulate a, a, a data that, uh, that have a spatial dependence and have marginal Poisson distributions. Now I, uh, I make estimations with the function geofit. This function geofit needs the, 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 the data, the, the data that we simulate or the data of, or you, can, uh, you want to analyze the, the coordinate point, point uh, the core model, the correlation model. We can specify uh, an optimizer in this case, we we use a uh, NL mean B estimates uh, uh, optimizers, but we you can you can use BFFG or uh, other optimizers that are, are able in in the R package. We have to to fix uh, some 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 parameters. These fixed parameters the we don't uh, make estimation, and we put the parameters that we have to estimate in the start, in the start value. So, so uh, we have a point to start to, to, the, to, the, to the optimizer and it, it, it belongs to the, to the parameters to, that we can, that we, we want to, to estimate. So we have to pass the, um, and a lower the um, upper bound to the to the to the parameters, and if you can see the model is the same that in the estimation in the estimation uh, in the simulation uh, procedure. So in this case, the model is Poisson, but if we have to uh, to make the misspecification Gaussian uh, approach, we change the model with the Gaussian mis Poisson. All the all the models that we present in the package have the have this uh, the the mis specification uh, the mis exchange procedures and is very similar Gaussian mis specification and the model that we where we are working in this case uh, the Poisson is uh, if he wa it was uh, the serine fated Poisson it was says uh, here the uh, serine fated Poisson. And we can print uh, the estimation of the parameters. As we can see, the estimation of the parameters are very, very pretty similar and are pretty similar with the original values. The mean value is 1.5. And if, if we remember, uh, the original uh, parameter is 1.5. And the scale is 0 0.08. And the original scale is uh, 0 0.25 divided by, by 3, that approximately is 0 0.08. So we can see that the, the estimation is working, is working well. So uh, uh, re, only for remember, you use uh, the, the function geofit to make, a, to make the, the estimation pro procedure. And to, uh, uh, to continue with that, uh, I can. Uh, I want to show you that the, the output of the uh, of the object fit one. Indeed, output uh, we can uh, found a, a lot of information of the of the procedures. Uh, first of all, we can see the the maximal composite likelihood uh, of the Poisson random fit. We use the marginal composite likelihood. There are uh, uh, other types of of, of, of composite likelihood or you can use the, the full likelihood approach also for the Gaussian random fields. The model, uh, the type of the likelihood in this case is pairwise, the covariance models, the optimizer, the number of special coordinates, uh, the, the number of dependent temporal realizations. In that case, uh, uh, we only work with the special domain, so the the temporal realization is one, but we can uh, use that for space-time models. Uh, also, we can work with uh, multivariate random fields. In this case, we work with uh, unit variate random fields. 
uh, the number of parameters to to be uh, to be estimated in that case are two two parameters. The the mean parameter at the at the scale. We if we are in the in the no stationary case, we have more more parameters. Or if we change the the correlation model, we also have more 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 parameters. And we also have the the maximum log composite likelihood value. In that case, is that that value, and finally the estimation of uh, of all the all the parameters. We can also uh, have a, an estimation of the of, of the of, of the covariogram with this function. First of all, we have to uh, generate uh, the the empirical uh, variogram with the function geovariogram. And then with the function geocovariogram, we can uh, we can estimate the uh, the 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 the, the, uh, the variogram function. So in that case, we can see that the the fit is also is is, is also well. And finally, the prediction is uh, is made by the the function geocreek. For the prediction, we need uh, new locations. I, I said uh, a, um, a, a, loca a more location in the, in the unit square. We make uh, an expand grid of this, of, of this sequence of, of numbers. We need the, the fitted parameters and the fixed parameters and the correlation uh, uh, function. In this case, the material function. And we uh, we uh, we play the 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 geo -creek, uh, function with these uh, inputs. You uh, if you if we want the mean square uh, uh, error, we have to put mean square error uh, MSA equal to true to obtain the uh, the mean square error of the of, of the prediction. And with the quill plot and the image plot, we can uh, we can plot the, uh, the, the 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 data set, the predictions, and the mean square. And there is with half in this slide. That is the, the data. As you can see, there are locations in, in which we don't have information of, of, of the of the characteristic. And in the prediction, we can uh, we we can obtain this 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 information, and this is the main uh, square error. Oh, and you can see the the mean square error is 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 in mod for for this uh, for this uh, for this example. So the, that is all. Uh, some conclusions on future works uh, and future work. Uh, our proposal allows to overcome mean square discontinuity. Uh, present in jerarchical models that is a very huge advantage with with the in relation with other models uh, this model uh, partially inherited uh, some geometrical properties on the underlying uh, random gaussian random field for example if the gaussian random field is uh, is isotropic then uh, we can obtain a, a Poisson random field that is isotropic if the Gaussian random field is 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 not a stationarity, uh, also the the Gaussian random 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 field. If the Gaussian random field is mean square continuous, then the the Poisson random field is mean square continuous, and also the the Poisson inflated the Gaussian random field. This uh, this methodology it can be easy applied to a space time or a spherical domain to analyze a, a, a space-time data or, 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 or data in the, in the, in the spherical domain on in the spheres in general. The inference approach based on, on weighted pathways likelihood is an effective, is an effective solution for, for the estimation step. Uh, also, we we can provide uh, a less uh, computational demanding uh, uh, approach for the estimation with the uh, misspecification. Uh, one of the limitations of the of a Poisson random field is that the, the variance is equal to to, to, to the mean. The, the, the mean is equal to the to, to the variance. So in in real application, it was a a, a, a problem. 
but we can use uh, the Poisson uh, 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 the Poisson random field as welding block to to make other models. As you can see, we can we can uh, 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 propose uh, another model that is uh, the zero inflated uh, uh, zero inflated Poisson random field, but with the definition of the of the Poisson random field. Uh, so uh, we propose a common random field that, that can handle excess of, of, of zeros. Uh, we, we I don't show, but we can test in in the applications that uh, our model is a good candidate uh, to model real data and alternative for Gaussian copular models because they are less computationally expensive. So uh, the computational cost uh, for our models is 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 less than the than the than the Gaussian copula models. All the procedures are uh, implemented in a uh, R package uh, geo model that I presented before, and we can reach uh, the the new class of content random field if we consider uh, we consider other positive random fields. Than the exponential, we can consider a, a weeble, a, a gamma, uh, and another positive uh, uh, random field. And it, uh, as we can change the the the, the random uh, the positive random field, the con random field change. Uh, here is some some reference that I use in these presentations, and that is all. If you have some questions. Thank you, thank you very much, Diego. Um, don't be shy, everyone. Please ask questions. You can either unmute or put it in the chat. And I'm also going to check Discord. Um, I do have a question as a warm up. So. Is the Poisson equidispersion a feature seen in all spatial count data? Yeah, it, it, as, you, as I told you before, it is very rare, it is very rare really to, to get this feature in real data, but uh, there are cases we can, that we can observe uh, the, the equidispersion, but the, uh, the thing in 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 the in the in our proposal is that the that the Poisson random field can be used as building blocks to construct other 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 kind of count random fields. Uh, and um, so, can, can you tell tell us a bit about like um, possible applications for this, like applications to um, ah, okay. uh, we, practical application? We, Yes, uh, I'm working in, in, with uh, uh, with the dynamic uh, populations uh, with uh, render uh, in uh, in Sweden. So uh, we can uh, uh, we have to study uh, how the uh, how the how the po the population is affected by uh, uh, by some uh, by some covariates in the in the in, in the nature of the of, of the reader, uh, so we can we can model the um, uh, the dynamic population of the of, of some animals, and uh, another application is to 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 model the the number of cases of some disease. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 a typical egg uh, uh, and. Uh, and, uh, and uh, um, one thing that is prevalent now is for COVID. So we can, if we have the, the locations of the mm -hmm. of the number of cases, we can we can model the the spatial dependence and make predictions in the in the future and in other in other in other locations. Yeah, that does that sound very um very interesting and super useful. Yes. Um, we have one more question. How expensive are to run these models on computers? Like what sort of computer do you need for these models and how long does it take to run it? Uh, depends on the number of locations. Uh, for, uh, I make experiments for 500 uh, locations. Uh, it spends, uh, I think, uh, one minute. 
That's quick. Yes, yes, it's very, it's very, it's very quick. Uh, if we use a miss specification, is also is faster. But also depends if we have a more coverage and the and the and the covariance structure, because if we have a more complex covariance structure, uh, we have a, a, we have to spend more computational time. But but is is very quickly in in, in general. Mm -hmm. um, are there any more questions? You can also ask in Spanish if you would like to. Ah, one more question in the chat. Is, the, um, is this process related to Gaussian processes? Yes, we use a, a, a Gaussian processes to, as input to uh, to construct the 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 the, the, Poisson, the, the, the Poisson random field. Ah, yes. As, as, as you can see, we we start with a uh, with a Gaussian with a Gaussian process. With a, a Gaussian process is a, is, a, is a Gaussian random field, and in general, we can use a Gaussian marker random fields. So we can define this in the in the continuous domain or, or in the discrete domain. So it, it is also a very interesting feature of this, of this kind of model because are very flexible in, in that sense. Mm -hmm. Because we are using a, a Gaussian process uh, uh, behind the scenes and we, and we take some properties of these Gaussian random fields. For this, that we can use a lot of uh, a lot of parametric uh, 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 correlation functions, the, the, the matern, the exponential, the dependent. Uh, we can use a, 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 a great range of, of of parametric function that is defined in the in the Gaussian process in our in our process. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Diego, for your talk. Thank you, Sylvia. And we will have a few minutes for a break now, and we will continue with our next talk at 11.40. See you, Zapisha.